Hello. Are we sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. I know someone. You probably know someone. You know others know someone. But this someone, I don't know. But I hear their voice. And I'm not sure if they are man or woman. You might think this is weird. But their name is Zeta. Or it could be pronounced as Zeta. Maybe they're Jewish. Maybe they are using a voice box. Because they normally talk like a horse. Encountering this human for about a year, and he is spontaneous like diarrhea. Hey, I've been hearing him for a year as he is spontaneous like diarrhea. <laughs> But did I know it? Ah. I heard him to. Oh, I shouldn't say him. Because I think he uses a voice box. I think it's a he. But without a, a DNA testing machine, I can't be certain. But let's assume it's a it. I've been told it is about five foot three. Now you may find this hard to believe, but it, it's, it's claimed that it weighs 247 pounds and, and he wears glasses. I think Joe Nighty rings a bell. Maybe he's been down to hell. Ring a bell. <laughs> I'm a rhymer. Oh. I know he hates poets. He said he liked to beat up poets that were frilly thongs. He specified thongs. He emphasized thongs. So he could be a, one of them strange men or one of them strange its that has a thong fetish. Anyway, as not to ramble like a schizophrenic. He likes physics, but he doesn't understand it. He likes to talk about space, man, space. He likes to talk about Helium man, you know. Yeah. He has a friend. Not many. But he has a friend, yeah. His friend is like a swaying piece of bacon in the afternoon sun, man. If you know who I'm referring to, I hope you are disliking this with grave 
prejudice on your mind, man. Yeah. That's like a fart coming through the mouth. Not as thunderous as it comes through the arse. Oh. So, Zeta, are you a woman using a voice box to disguise your weird, weird feminine voice? Just like some men who want to be women. Or some women that would like to be men. Man, I bet Alice on the hormones. And some women. No, we won't go that way. We all know how illogical women are. As I'm talking about their incorrect assumption on perception. Oh, yeah, man, Zeta. I've been told he has an IQ. I've also been told he doesn't have a spell IQ. I did pose him the question. I said, hey, Zeta, how do you spell IQ? Well, this is a rambling. And he said, E Y E C U E I Q. And I thought to myself, you know, he just can't search online for an update for stupidity. Because he is, as I said before, a very short it. And so, because he need he need to sit on to raise his small, short, petite, tiny, compact, tall, so high enough for his little arms and hands to reach the keyboard. He is far too nuclear physics. I know he likes his booze. He said when he was a student he was a drunkard. Yes, a drunkard. Is he a womanizer? Or is he a manizer? Does he like sniffing a man's man? Anything is possible these days, man. Oh, I need a shit. Whenever I think of bacon, I want to. Open my crack and pollute my toilet. Yes. Picking my nose reminds me of Zeta. Or is it Zeta? Or is that a mathematical nuclear physics word? Zeta looks to the sky and realizes I are a pair of pies mixed with gravy and veg and boiled layers of bacon with zati on their chests. Is this a riddle or a puzzle or a dilemma? On one or two. 
if you are clever or if you are stupid, you may get this question incorrectly puzzled. That sounds abstract. So this is a question to all you so-called dumb asses, man. If I placed a riddle or a puzzle before you, would you use your brain first or your mouth first? Here we go. Are you ready? Have you got it turned on? Switched on? Plugged in? How many minutes are in a second? Ah, you use your brain first. And you pondered. But the reply comes from your mouth. You say 60. And suddenly your brain's kicked in and you realise you screwed up. Don't you feel like a dog?